Okay, one of my theories is called Na, which is short for Nate, Annalise, and Wes. And it kind of stands for, no way, it's too good to be true. But hear me out. My theory is all three people, Nate, Annalise, and Wes, were working together to bring down the governor, the Castillos, Bonnie, and somehow the Mahoney's. Backstory. Annalise and Bonnie met while Annalise was um, defending a city councilman who was accused of misconduct by Bonnie. Bonnie, while on trial in this episode, which I will um, put the episode information right here, but um, during the trial, she'd mentioned that she'd put several men behind bars. My theory is that the men that are behind bars and that are accused um, somehow crossed the Castillo family. And the Castillo family works with the governor and Bonnie does too. And they together were putting people behind, wrongly putting people behind bars. kind of getting the vibe that Connor is Bonnie's son. Comment down below if you think that's the case, but I kind of just get the feeling because she picked him. There's a theory out there that Laurel is actually a Mahoney. She was kidnapped when she was a kid and it could have been like her real mom coming back for her. The Mahoney's are working with Tegan and the governor's office and the FBI to cover up everything and just blame it all on Annalise and, you know, pin this whole murder thing on her. There's another theory out there that Wes Gibbons is actually a twin. One is named Wes and the other name's Kristoff. I actually think that Bonnie killed Wes. Because if you look how she killed um, Governor uh, Miller, DA Miller, she put her hands over his mouth, and then she—that's how Wes had died. And you know, before when Wes got in the house, he saw Nate. Someone injected something in his mouth. He woke up, and I think he was supposed to like live, but he didn't end up living. And then Bonnie suffocated him to death. 